Hey, in this video, I'm going to answer the question, is DF Iteros bad? We've all been there. We've learned a little bit of Python and now we're starting to work with some data in pandas and we wonder to ourselves, how can I perform this operation on every single cell in a column? Naturally, we look up how to loop through data in pandas. Or if you're really clever, you might have searched how to iterate through data in pandas. Here you likely came across a Stack Overflow post that kindly offers the DF Iteros solution. Boom, problem solved. And like most busy analysts, scientists, and coders, you copy and paste the solution and move on to solving your next problem. It doesn't happen at first, but eventually it starts appearing everywhere. Don't use DF Iteros. Wait, what? Why not? It works for me. You then brush this off. Everything on the internet isn't true. But then you see another article, and another, and another. What's going on? Is Iteros bad? Wicked? Evil. A sin? Well, no. Iteros isn't exactly a sin, nor is it inherently bad. It's just bad the way most of us are using it. That's why you just shouldn't. Just don't. Say no to Iteros. Even the official Pandas documentation says, no iteros when modifying data. Why then is everybody telling us not to use iteros? One of the most frequently cited reasons is because it's slow. Like, think tortoises, molasses, sloths. If you only work with large data sets and speed never really is a problem, then can I just use DF iteros? Well, there are other complications as well. For reason number two, let's look at a, an example. So the problem with using iteros is it doesn't preserve the data type. So I'm going to import pandas here, and we have a data frame here with integers and floats. So one column of integers, one column of floats. We're going to use df iteros to display the data here and we see that it converted our integers into floats. A better way would be to use DF iter tuples, which does preserve data types. And we can see that here in this example. As I mentioned, the official pandas documentation for iteros explicitly states you should never modify something you are iterating over with iteros. So don't use iteros if you want to change or modify your data. The documentation explicitly states, this is not guaranteed to work in all cases. Depending on the data types, the iterator returns a copy and not a view and writing to it will have no effect. So what does that mean? Let's look at an example of how this works. When our data frame has heterogeneous data types, which is just a fancy way of saying data types that are different, DF iteros will perform the changes on a copy of the data frame. What that means is it duplicates the original data frame and leaves that data frame untouched. So let's see that in action. Here we're using the same data frame that we used above. We have our int column and our float column. So it has heterogeneous data types. If we use a for loop to add one to our DF iteros, we'll see that our data frame didn't actually change. The reason this happens is because when we use DF iteros, when our data frame has different data types, it will make a copy of our data frame. It sets aside the original data frame and only makes changes on that new copy that we just created. The problem is there is no reference to this copy. It's not saved as a data frame that we can access later. So after our for loop is done, any changes made to that copy, we can't access. And now when we look at our data frame, there were no changes because it's returning to us that original data frame that DF iteros had originally set aside and didn't touch. Now let's look at what happens when our data types are the same or homogeneous. So in this instance, DF iteros will return a view of our original data frame, meaning that it will actually use that original data frame to make modifications. So here I'm just changing our int column to floats. So we have a data frame with homogeneous data types. And then we're going to use our DF iteros to add one to each int row. And we see that one was actually added to each row. So yes, DF iteros is slow, but it also has two other problems. The data types are not always preserved. And in some instances, when we try to modify our data, 
it might not actually work for us. If I've convinced you not to use DF iteros anymore, you can check out this video over here that discusses alternatives to the iteros method.